number seven, it says two investments um, totaling 52,000 produce an annual income of $3,305. One investment yields 5% per year, while the other yields 8% per year. How much is invested at each rate? So um, there's a couple of ways to uh, work this. Um, and I guess the way that you'll see it in Hawks is um, I guess substitution or total. Um, I'll show you a couple of ways uh, to do it if you want to see um, off, but I'll try to keep it simple uh, for here. <clears throat> we know we have uh, two amounts of money, and we're trying to figure what those are. So I'm going to come up with two variables for the unknown. So we'll call x the amount at 5%. Because okay, we invested some money at 5%, and then we did another at 8%. So we'll say y is the amount at 8%. Um, we know if we add these two, we will get a total of 52,000. And if we apply the um, interest formula to these, so the total amount of interest earned is the amount uh, we invested uh, at at x at 5%, so as a decimal that's going to be 0 0.05 times the amount that we invested plus the interest rate of 8%, which is 0 0.08y, and then the total interest that we got um, was 3305. Okay, so this way that I've set up, we're going to do it by doing a system of equations. And you usually learn this a little bit later, but it's, I feel like, one of the easier ways to do it and set it up. Um, and we'll solve it this way, and I'll also show you how to do it the way Hawks, and I'll show you how to plug it in the calculator. So to solve a system, we want to eliminate one of these variables. So there's a couple things going on. To eliminate... Uh, we need the same number in front, and we need to um, have the opposite sign. Um, one thing is problematic is dealing with decimals. So to fix that, we're going to multiply this bottom equation by 100. And everything in this equation is going to get multiplied by 100. I know 100 because there's two places after the decimal. And for every zero, it's going to move the decimal place one place to the right. So multiplying by 100 will get rid of decimals. And this equation uh, will become 5x plus 8y equals, and you also have to multiply this by 100, and it becomes 330500. Zero, zero, zero. So we add two zeros to this. This kind of moves the decimal two places to the right. So this is the new equation. <clears throat> now, for example, let's say I wanted to eliminate the x variable. I need to make sure this other equation has a 5 in the place of x, but it's negative. So I'm going to multiply this equation by negative 5. And I'm picking negative 5 to eliminate x. If I wanted to eliminate y, I could multiply by negative 8. <clears throat> so I'm going to multiply this by um, negative 5. Sorry, I didn't know that you didn't see that. <clears throat> multiply by negative 5, this becomes negative 5x. This becomes minus 5y. And then negative 5 times 52,000. We get negative 260,000. Uh, 
Okay, we're going to combine or add these two equations up. So these two will cancel out. They will get eliminated. Adding these two, we get 3y. And then combining these two, really subtracting. I'm saying adding, but we're subtracting. We will get 0, 0, 5, 0. Borrow 1, 70. So we'll get 70,500. And then from here, we just divide by 3. And the 70,500 divided by 3 We get 23,500. So why the amount invested at 8% is 23,500. And then we figure out the other amount, okay, because we knew the total from up here, this original equation that we had, we knew the total was 52,000. So we're just gonna plug this in and then do the math and we'll figure out what X is. So we have um, X, which we don't know right now, plus Y, which Y is 23.5 equals 52,000. And then if we subtract 52,000, sorry, 23.5 from both sides, this will get eliminated. Go to zero. We have X equals 0, 0, uh, we'll bar 1, get 10, and then we bring down a 5. This is now a 1, bar 1, we get 11, and subtract, we get 8. We have 4 minus 2 is 2, so we get 28,500. So this will be our two um, answers. Um, it is a little bit of a process, but um, I think this is one of the easier ways to do it. Um, in Hawks, I believe they're going to show you how to do substitution. So I'm just going to do substitution, show you that we get the same uh, two answers. Okay, so um, the way we're going to call this um, to do substitution, just a little bit different setup. We're going to say X is the amount, we'll leave it the same, at five percent <throat> and we'll still call Y the amount at eight um, percent. Um, we're going to be getting X in terms of Y or vice versa. So we know that the total of these two, okay, we want to use one variable, the total of these two amounts of money is 52. So let's just do this and solve for x. So if I say x plus y equals 52,000, if we just subtract y from both sides, <clears throat> or actually I probably want to subtract x, but it's okay. Um, x equals 52,000 minus y. So I'm getting x in terms of y. <clears throat> so I'm saying this is x and I'm going to leave y as itself. I'm just going to say y is that. Okay, so when I set this up, I can now use this second equation, which we're going to say, okay, point zero five times the amount invested plus 0 0.08 times the amount invested at that rate still equals 33.05. What we're going to do now, we're going to substitute what x is right here. So we have one equation with one system. So I'm going to replace x with 52,000 minus y. So I have 0 0.05 times 52,000 minus y plus the point zero eight y equals thirty three oh five distribute 
common practice that we've been seeing amongst most of these problems. We're going to distribute multiply times 0 0.05. Okay. So we're going to do 0 0.05 times the 52,000. And that gives us 2,600. 0 0.05 times the negative y minus 0 0.05 y plus 0 0.08 y equals 3305. Combine like terms here, so we're going to subtract these two since they're different signs, and that will give us 26. So 2600 plus 0 0.03 y equals 3305. And from here, we're going to subtract 2600 from both sides. This will cancel. That will give us 0 0.03 equals, subtract this, we get 5, 0, borrow 1, 13, we get 705. Uh, 0.3y, sorry, equals 705. And then divide by 0 0.03. Can't see. So when we divide by 0 0.03, we're left with y equals, um, and we're going to do 705 divided by 0 0.03. And you see for y, we're getting 23.5, which is the same y that we got on the other side, 23.5. And still, the way that you find x is we will plug this back into um, this equation that we had up top. So if I do 5200 and minus the 23.5, it will get x, because x equals 5200 minus the 23.5. OK, so if we subtract those two, just to verify. 5,200 or 52,000 minus the 23,500, we get 28,500. So we get x equals 28,500. Okay, so these are the two methods. Um, you'll probably learn this one a little bit more detail later on, but if you can follow, it would be great to use that one. If not, um, through Hawk, their example will kind of take you through uh, this method here. You can always stop and rewind and rewatch it. But these are our two answers. I'm going to um, stop it here. I'll plug these in, but I'm going to show you how to uh, do the calculator uh, version on a different video.